Now we go to Deputy Pauline Tully, who is sharing her time with Deputy Martin Brown and Deputy Rory O'Moraku. Uh, um, Minister, I wish to oppose the continuation of these emergency measures for the proposed time of six months. I, mean, I just feel that's excessive given that a sizable proportion of the population have now been vaccinated, including the older cohort and those deemed vulnerable to the disease. In fact, the vast majority of people who are contracting COVID are in the younger age groups now and for the most part are not experiencing significant health implications and in fact many have no symptoms whatsoever. And while I'm not suggesting all restrictions are just dropped or removed, uh, I do not see the necessity to extend these provisions for a period of six months. I, I think st uh, measures need to be reviewed and discussed perhaps on a monthly basis and restrictions removed as they are no longer needed because I and I think most people do recognise that restrictions were needed in order to prevent the spread of the disease and the death or serious illness of many of our more vulnerable members of society, especially when we didn't know very much about the disease. And I know it was also to control the numbers needing to attend hospital and currently the numbers in hospital are low, thankfully. Um, and society is opening up again albeit slowly, and I think we need to continue that process and see things return to normal as quickly as possible, obviously in a safe way. Now, while encouraging people to continue social distancing and washing their hands and avoiding crowds and so on, businesses have to be allowed to reopen. People have got to be allowed to mix again, and whether that's in the workforce or through sport or social activity, it's essential for the mental well-being of our population. Now, I'm living in a border area, and that has meant that society opening up faster north of the border has impacted on many businesses and different um, activities in the border counties. Like, for example, swimming pools with, pool, with group lessons are allowed to resume before the end of this month in the north. But to my knowledge, no date has been put forward for the resumption of swimming classes in the south, which means people in the border area will book lessons north of the border to the detriment of those offering lessons in the south. The same applies to gym membership. Gyms are now open up north, not in the south, there are no dates yet. So I think we need definitive dates for reopening all of these activities. Um, I'm also concerned about the ever-growing waiting list for hospital appointments and particularly for further diagnosis of possible cancer symptoms. Um, a woman I know, she noticed a lump in her breast. She was referred to the breast check clinic in a hospital in Dublin by her GP. The file was marked urgent. Now, four weeks on, she still hadn't been called. And when she followed this up, she was told she'd be waiting another 14 to 16 weeks on top of what she'd already uh, been waiting. So, and I'm hearing that the waiting list for urgent cancer checks are about three to four months, whereas they would normally have been within one month. And look, we all know that early diagnosis in relation to, to possible cancer is vital. So I'm just wondering, are provisions being made to deal with the backlog of those awaiting um, further checks for cancer symptoms? People in all walks of life, I think they need a clear timeline for the opening of society or the reopening of society, and people have had enough at this stage. I mean, their mental health is suffering. Public waiting lists for hospital appointments are growing, and businesses, especially those in the hospitality sector, are suffering. Now, emergency payments need to be extended until such a time that society is fully opened up. So um, I'm just calling on the government to ensure the short time work support payment is extended for workers in industry still unable to reopen fully due to ongoing public health restrictions. You mean many employees have been placed on reduced hours uh, due to the impact of COVID and um, have been receiving this benefit. But I think it may be coming to an end with, with no indication of it being continuing. Um, so something needs to be done to protect those workers. They can't be allowed to just work the short time hours without um, uh, the benefit of the payment. So just to conclude, a blanket extension of these restrictions is not necessary, and especially for six months. And I just think they need to be reviewed and extended, and only those absolutely necessary um, remaining. And to allow the Dáil to debate and vote on those as we go forward. Thank you.